Uh, what is going on guys, Marshall1 here and welcome back to my new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. In my case I'm gonna do uh, gaming custom thumbnails for my upcoming YouTube videos. So basically at first you need a picture that you like and if you want you can also take another one of the things that you're gonna use. So I will show you all in my video. At first I'm using a Photoscape. In this program I'm using only a basic things like I add text because I don't know I got used to this but also you can do it all only in Photoshop. But here I want to first prepare my background for the picture then, then I'm gonna use it in Photoshop and I'm gonna cut that picture and add on already prepared background so yes all you do you follow my steps and here you may want to create a name so add all you want decide your position of the text or find the best size of your text and make it here as you like and you can add some bloom or effects any effects of your choice simply wherever you like but most of the time I'm using a blurry background because I want to make it as a picture that will be in second plan because what I'm gonna present on my video uh, I want to be in first plan because here I'm making a gameplay video with PKP Pechenek and I want to add that gun in first plan and background in second plan and of course pay attention on your text it needs to be big so people can notice what you gonna show them so when they search for video they can insta see what is your video about so next step you're gonna do those two pictures you simply select and drag them in your Photoshop so now what what I'm about to do is I take this tool and you're gonna go around your picture and mark what you wanna select so you can simply click and drag it on your picture so I'm gonna speed up this part so you don't wait long So after you did this you simply click this button and drag it to your background as I told you before this was my first background that I didn't want to be in a second plan and now I took this so I removed the unnecessary text because I don't want to be this on my picture because I want really clean picture so you can use it this option and clean it next you can click on stroke so you add some nice line or as you can say outlines so I make my picture look better then you can take a rubber and zoom in to see if there are some unnecessary parts from cutting so you can delete them and if you press right click on your workspace you can choose and select a type and a size of the rubber so you simply just clean 
those unnecessary parts so it looks better. And of course what I told you before, just have in mind to make a decent size of the text on the background so people can notice what you have in your video because it's more simple when they see a picture and big text on your custom thumbnails they will already know what the world is about and what's the video about of course you can use any custom backgrounds from Google and you can download them and edit in Photoshop and your pictures here I did a uh, brightness and next one I'm gonna do is outer glow because I want something around my picture to shine and look better but it's not necessary it's up on you and your choice and you can change anything you want here to be bigger or smaller also you can take blend mode so you may want to test those options by yourself so you can check and also you have inner shadow or inner glow also they, that will give some nice look to your pictures so I'm using this only to, to make it look better but believe me it's not necessary if you don't want you don't have to use that so it's up on you by the time you will really explore it and see what you like and how you do I'm only showing you a basic things also I have some transparent pictures that I already prepared before and for those videos I'm using them so I don't have to cut them all the time and I simply drag them and resize rotate them as I want and it's pretty fast and it will take less time to edit or add them so yes I'm gonna place it like this of course I go again to add some stroke this time red color like that we can go to image you can choose out the contrast, out the levels and whatever you want but I like to make it by myself to edit contrast as, contrast as I want here you can make a fill or a capacity see so it's also nice and in some cases you will really need it and here I again going to add glow because I want to show people what have I done in this video because people who watch this video they already know what this logo means and they will instantly know what the video is about also you can add some effects that you can find on Google like lines flames I don't know anything you want but you can you can play with that drag in and check if you like it if you're not you delete it try another one and it's really something that you need to explore and need to see do you like or you dislike those things because you no know, we are not all the same so not everyone will like what you do but don't pay attention on that it's all okay until you like it so here I'm trying to add some blue lines but I think they will not fit on this video yeah of course they will not because I don't have anything of this color here so I will delete and try to find another one this is too bright I can take this one can be used to, to make some shine around my Proki logo so you need to change here and make it lighten because I don't want to see those lines around it and all you need to do is find a nice place here. where you wanna make it you can make it smaller or larger rotate it as much as you want so yes basically I'm only playing here 
and trying to make something simply something that looks more better here you can right click and duplicate that layer so you don't have to repeat that option again and it's simple next what you wanna do if you want but you don't have to you can add some nice effects over your picture so you only drag it put on your picture so click here choose a lighten or you can screen color dodge anything you want and as you can see this looks too bright so I'm gonna make it fill to 53% or I'm not sure if this is okay but we're gonna make something so I think it doesn't fit so you need to play it you need to play with those options in order to see which one you like but I think I'm gonna use this one because it's not so bright it's not too dark and you see it's something like in the background or you can also make a capacity to be more visible or less visible and simply that is it I think yeah you're gonna click save as jpeg and you have your picture later you can check it how does it look after you have finished it and let's check it first one so yeah we got this map and we had a pkp picture that we used to cut and at the end we got a picture like this one so that was it for this video guys i hope you had fun if you did please support me with like button and leave a comment or subscribe me bye bye guys and take care